I've been managing mental health and mental health conditions since my 20s. Um, so uh, I've always used my mental health condition to uh, inform what I do. I make films and tell stories. Um, and I um, help other people tell their stories about mental health. Mental Health Artists is a group of people who I ran last year and when we could meet together in real life. And um, our motto was, good mental health is an art built on the habit of catching and appreciating very ordinary little moments. And I think that um, ordinary moments are really important. The creativity in life is really important. And you build up your painting of good mental health, like the individual brush strokes of a painting build up painting. So as an artist, I think that's really important. Someone said something to me, which was that if you've ever been in hospital, then you're fully equipped to cope with lockdown because um, you, 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 you've been in a situation where um, you've been deprived of your liberty. And I thought that was really wise. In lockdown, it's like the world went collectively mad at the same time. And um, that helped me a lot. I think um, another thing that's that's always helped me with mental health is recognising that it's driven by fear. A lot of the time it's driven by fear and certainly when you're trapped or feeling trapped, that feeling of fear, I try to breathe and I try to remember that talking to yourself is something that everybody does. That that mental health is something that everyone goes through, that I'm not alone. One real treat from lockdown has been that um, uh, I, one of the stories that I wrote is um, in this book, um, which is called Where's My Lemonade? And there's 17 people who've written uh, their stories for this book and it's being sold in aid of Mental Health Foundation. That's been one real highlight of my lockdown has been to see my story in print.